Hi everyone, we are going to discuss about the common marine prong, Phineas. Now, the common marine prong, Phineas, is found in tropical and temperate sea. It's a marine prong. Okay, and you find uh, such crustaceans in the fresh water that is named as paleomorph. Phineas uh, uh, is, uh, that is the common Indian in Indian waters, the common species of Pinaeus include Pinaeus indicus, which we are going to study in this topic. Other species include the giant uh, prawn, that is Pinaeus monodon, or it is uh, then there are tiger prawn. So there are different kinds of prawns, and some of the names which we are going to mention here are Pinaeus. Monodon, Phineas merguanensis, Phineas japonicus, Phineas latisulcatus, Phineas semisulcatus, Phineas pensilatus. You can just remember two names. One is Phineas indicus, one is Phineas monodon. So that is enough. And next is coming to the morphological uh, Characters that is external visible characters of the prawn. Now, basically, the prawn is divided, that is, the prawn's body is divided into two that is, the cephalothorax. Cephalo means head, thorax is the thoracic region, that is, any uh, insect has a head region, a middle portion, then an abdomen. So, this middle portion is called the thorax. Here in the prawn, the head and the thorax is joined together. The segments are joined together to form a structure called as cephalothorax. Okay, cephalothorax. And the abdomen is about six segments are found there in the abdomen. While in cephalothorax, it is formed by the fusion of 13 segments. There are five cephalic segments and eight thoracic segments in the cephalothorax. So, once again, cephalothorax is formed by the fusion of 13 segments. Okay. Then, the abdominal region has six segments. Cephalothorax is formed by 13 segments in which five segments are from the cephalic region and eight are from the thoracic region. Abdominal region has six segments, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it ends in a conical process called telson. This is a telson. T-E-L-S-O-N. Telson. Now, coming to the next part, that is the these are the notes for what I had explained earlier, that is Phineas is the marine prawn, which is widely distributed in the Tropical and temperate sea, the two regions, cephalothorax and abdomen, which used, uh, that is cephalothorax is formed by the fusion of 13 segments, that is 5 cephalic and 8 thoracic. Abdominal region has segments, 6 segments, and, and the terminal conical process called telson. The body of the prawn is elongated, hemispherical, and sl slightly tapering to the posterior end. In fresh specimen of a prawn, it's quite a bluish color, white, whitish bluish color. The whole body of the prawn is covered by a cuticular exoskeleton, which is secreted by the underlying epidermis. So it has a segmental cuticular exoskeleton, which is secreted by the underlying epidermal layer. It is formed of chitin, which is a polysaccharide and protein, and it is strengthened by sclerotization. Sclerotization means uh, it's hardening, hardening of the protein. And it is also 
strengthened by calcification it is formed by the deposition of calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate the exoskeleton is a segmented cuticular exoskeleton which is secreted by the epidermis is formed by chitin the polysaccharide protein strengthened by proteins and by calcification by calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate the exoskeleton protects the body and provides provision for the attachment of muscles it also gives internal support through the infoldings the infoldings are called as epidermis so here this is a picture of the cuticle of the prawn one that we remove while cleaning you might uh, be familiar with this type of uh, you know prawn cuticle the skin that we remove while cleaning the prawn that type of uh, chitinous substance is then uh, this uh, process and you get this sheet of chitin which can be used for many uh, purposes it's used in wide varieties of uh, kind of uh, it has wide varieties of applications like in, it is used as stabilizers in wine and uh, it is used in paint industries and as source of calcium etc there are many a type of applications for this exoskeleton then exoskeletal covering it uh, again uh, that is explained here it's protecting the body it provides attachment for the muscles it gives internal support through infolding called epidermis epidermis not only increase the area of attachment of muscle but also protect the soft internal organs exoskeleton skeletal covering is segmented its segments are called sclerites one such segment is what we have taken over here in the abdominal region there is dorsal and ventral sclerites so this is the dorsal and ventral sclerites sclerites means segments the dorsal sclerite this region this upper most region is called the dorsal part you know the underlying this region is the ventral region so the uh, sclerite which is found on the upper part or the dorsal region is called tergum it is called tergite terga the ventral region the ventral part this region the sclerite is called sterna sternites each tergum has a downward extension look at this hope it is clear each tergum has a downward extension look this page this is called pleuron on either side you find this pleuron this side here also there is a pleuron here also there is a pleuron the part between the pleuron and the abdominal appendage this is the appendage is the appendage the part between the pleuron and the appendage in between there is a space you can see that that is called the epimeron the part between pleuron and the abdominal appendage on each side is called the epimeron in the cephalothoracic region i'll show the next slide the cephalothoracic region this is the cephalothoracic region the sternal plates you know that uh, the there is tergal plates and sternal plates the 13 tergal plates join to form the carapace or the dorsal shield which is very hard if you find to you know crack it it's very hard that region if you uh, find the prone and so try to clean it you'll find the cephalothoracic region the tergum are fused to form a very thick prongs has the tergal plates which is fused to form the carapace and uh, ventrally they form to they fuse together to form the ventral shield 
which is not quite visible in this figure. All the cephalothoracic external plates will form, fuse to form the ventral sheath. And anteriorly, this uh, carapace is projected into a pointed serrated. You can see this in this figure. Serrated naturally, you know. Spines this is serrated edges. Spines you might also have studied in botany about serrated margin of leaves also. This type of margin is called serrations like this. Which is not smooth with a lot of uh, pointed structures. That's called the serrated structure. That is how the carapace is um, uh, that is seen in the anterior region, and in the post uh, that is in the lateral side. Lateral means just side, I know. But when we are in the other side, the part of the E part, E part is dorsal side. This is the D part, and now we are in the ventral side. This is the side we are in, that is lateral side, I know. So, this carapace is a hardened eyeglass structure. So, the phallothorax is a head region. It is a head region. It is a part of the division. It is a part of the insect. It is a part of the body divided. It is a head region, thoracic region, abdominal region. So, the prone is a head and the thorax is a part of the segment. It is a fused segment. And a cephalothorax number. A cephalothorax number in the cephalic region. Thaleda bagan of hard idler structure on a chitinous covering on order. Are they extended either? Noki kind of serrated idler for a spine in the pointed structure under. Adinapar in mana rostrum in the rostrum. A rostrum in the thai idler you find the compound eyes. That is stock type la compound eyes na chala oru oru stem pole to the structure na ainda mold na ni eyes nekka oru base to the stock kanda stock kanda. Alanda varthe eyes angane placei theke na it has a stock beneath. Which are yeh bhagan kanda in an extension ida. Angane compound eyes with the stock. That is called stock the eyes na 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 parayam. Dorsal shield, dorsal shield अंदर आ रही है ना तो ना, dorsal shield is produced into thin flaps on sides. तो अलग आ रही है हम इधर एक मराइन ऑर्गेनिज्म आना पाएँ ना, gills है ना इधर ने, श्वसित क्या नहीं ला, वो जो organ अंदर आ रहा है। पाँच भाग तो नाला thick covering of rostrum ना ये ने breathe याने तो ले ला, पाँच भाग the dorsal side in the carapace in the lateral side like a very more that is a very thin item more than a chain of the thin flap I turn out it just to the protective covering I did the energy in the gills in the model or gill cover I turn out the pair in the pair on a brand new steagle plate brand new steagle plate okay brand new steagle plate ये बात आता है इसका brand new steel plate है ना, which is not actually labelled here, but there is a brand new steel spine shown here. ये बात आता क्या है इसका हाँ thin flap like segment गिल्ली ने cover ये दर्ते कर देते हैं ना ताई ने अपना brand new steel plate है ना और है ना, आधे गिल cover आये था ना steel तो दा, any body wall that is ये brand new steel item body wall in the middle of our region that is not the case first you can imagine if you have a gill and the gill and the mold and the flap and the carapace and the bag and the bag and there is a gap in the gap in the gap in the body wall and the angio steel and the gill is in the gill that is the name of the gill chamber or gill chamber 
ഓക്കെ ഫ്രാങ്കൽ ചേംബർ ഓഫ് ഗിൽ ചേംബർ അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഹെഡ് 